We stopped to get some internet work done at a Walmart. In particular, the McDonald's in the Walmart. It's kind of like the <clears throat> epicenter of all evil. <laughs> there was a guy who was coughing a lot. Unfortunately, I think that's also where we got it. Hey everybody, welcome back to No Cheers Frontiers. In this series, we travel all over the world on our KTM 1190 Adventure motorcycle. Yes. And we do have adventures all over the place. We've gone throughout Central and South America. We've gone up halfway through Africa. And now we are currently on our journey to the top of the world Dun -dun -dun. in Alaska. Dead horse, on our steel horse. That's right. Yeah. We're getting closer. We are indeed. We have just entered into Alaska. We we're going from a chicken to a horse <laughs> this episode. That's right. Because as we headed into Alaska on the top of the world highway, the nearest town is the town of Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> which is a great name. But as we camped that night in a campground just outside of Chicken, we got some pretty bad news. Good morning. Actually, it's not a good morning because I have COVID. I had been feeling ill for the past day or so. My voice, my throat. Oh, I'm pretty sick. I had gotten some COVID tests in preparation to take them when it was more than 24 hours of symptoms because I knew that if I took a test within the first 24 hours, it would probably show negative results and that might not be true. No. So I waited the 24 hours and uh, we got to that campground. I took a test and it was positive. Uh. Oh. I've taken two tests now. <clears throat> I certainly feel like I have COVID as well. It's been hard for me to breathe. Last night, I woke up twice, just covered in sweat and feeling like I couldn't breathe. And then this morning, I woke up with tears just streaming down my face. I couldn't breathe. And we hadn't had COVID so far at all in no. our, any of our journeys. And we'd, we got the vaccine and double boosted before we bailed. Yeah, but, and yeah. we'd been all throughout Africa and everything yeah. during the pandemic. And now here we were just south of Chicken in this remote yeah. area, Very which is remote. about the best place you can quarantine, you know. That's true. Like there were some positives about it. Um, yeah. I was not near other people. Yeah, but we were also not near food. That's true. Tim has just gone out to town to, to chicken to get some supplies like throat lozenges, um, food, things like that. So I did a little recon mission up to, to chicken yeah. to go get, you know, just anything I could, some meats and some whatever. We were in this cool campground with the little bear box and it seemed pretty secure. Mm -hmm. We had shelter from if it rained and stuff, so exactly. we were going to hang out there. I had troubles breathing. I really wanted a throat lozenge. Yeah. I was like, Tim, please find a pharmacy, get a throat lozenge. I also wanted a little oximeter that could uh, so measure good. my Thanks, Mr. Glass. oxygen levels. Her dad told her to like, oh, get an oxygen thing because <laughs> if it drops, you know, it'd be bad. Yeah. You know, but, just peace of mind. Yeah. So I said, if you could find a pharmacy in chicken, that would be great. Just keep throwing all my nasty tissues out there. <clears throat> it's really gross. Sometimes things don't go to plan when you're on the road. And I want to say that I'm really thankful that Tim is here with me. 
I don't know what I would do if I was alone. <clears throat> well, the good news is, I can still smell, which is nice. <clears throat> I had some tea. In chicken, what exists is a little gas pump that's locked that you gotta run in and ask for the key and she'll come out. And they have free coffee, which was awesome, which made the whole trip worthwhile. Yeah, that was, I filled up on gas and coffee, but none of this was going to assist Marissa. They didn't, you know, I mean. They didn't even have like a grocery store. They had nothing. They had Twizzlers and M&Ms, like things I would have thrived <laughs> off of for years. And no salad, ironically, no chicken, no eggs. <laughs> Why they did didn't have like t-shirts though that said I, I got, got laid, laid in chicken. chicken. Yeah. I love pun. So everybody on the <laughs> other side is probably like, Tim, that is not fair for you to say, <laughs> call out any bad puns from for the rest yeah. of your life. I love your puns. Thank you. But yeah, so I came back quite empty handed. So Tim has returned from chicken and apparently they didn't have anything there. So we are packing up and heading to a larger town called Tok. I did meet somebody there uh, that said that there was a pharmacy in Took. Toke. Toke, yeah, Toke. which is the next town about two and a half hours from yeah. Chicken. And with no amenities in Chicken, we were forced yeah. to move on. And we've heard that Toke has some good facilities there. So we should be able to get the things we need and hopefully it will be better there. So we packed up our camping gear and headed off to Toke. Toke should be about two hours away, so <clears throat> should be a nice ride. Get some fresh air and be in a new place. Was still beautiful. It was. <laughs> I mean, I just had the plague monster behind me and it felt awful, but I was, you know, <laughs> and she was, you know, that we rode past chicken. And I was like, chicken is not a town, chicken no. is a building. <laughs> I don't know if it should be considered a town. Yeah, why did the chicken cross the road to get, any, I don't know, to get to Toke? To get to Toke, for sure. <laughs> and sure enough, there was a clinic there. So the clinic here in Tok is closed. Can't have COVID on the weekends, apparently. On the weekends. And it's Saturday, so it's closed both today and tomorrow. But it was not in all of the days of the week clinic. Yes. <laughs> and we were there, there was, on the weekend. This was a don't get sick on Saturday or Sunday <laughs> clinic. <laughs> exactly. And we were like, oh, you chose a bad day to get COVID. Yes, and there were no pharmacies open, so. 
We're gonna try to get to Fairbanks today because it's a much bigger city and hopefully they'll have pharmacies and places that are open so I can get some throat lozenges and just, you know, basic things that I feel will make it just a little bit better to deal with this. But first we're gonna try to get something to eat and obviously eat outside away from everyone. So we made the executive decision yeah. to go all the way to Fairbanks. Our options were stay in a motel and Marissa, knowing she had COVID was kind of a bogus kind yeah. of deal. You know, Probably whatever. I mean, that. give or take and we're not, you know, but uh... Not when we had camping supplies. But campgrounds around there, I didn't want to camp Saturday and Sunday, so we might as well go to Fairbanks, which is uh -huh. much bigger and will have its own clinics, or by then we will know Marissa's oxygen level. <laughs> it was another like three hours from where we were, which was already like three hours away or whatever. Mm. You know, it was it was going to be a long day with someone who wasn't in tip top yeah. shape. But uh, we went from top of the world to being grounded really quickly. <laughs> some buddies at an Overland Expo. Yeah, a while ago, a year ago, we had some friends that we had met, um, Ashley and Austin hey. from Mako Venture. Yeah. And they were overlanders. They overlanded in their Toyota Chinook yeah. um, throughout Central America. And they were back in their hometown of Fairbanks mm -hmm. and said, look, we understand that you are sick and we, you know, are very willing to have you stay in our backyard and yeah. camp. Yeah, and that was for me the most welcoming, yeah. wonderful thing. Hey everyone, so we are in Fairbanks and a huge thank you to our friends Austin and Ashley of Mako Travels. They have been so awesome to let us stay in their yard. Um, we just set up camp, we are uh, currently listening to the rain falling on the tent. Well, I am. Tim is showering. Um, while we were in Fairbanks, we were able to go to Walgreens, which is a big pharmacy, if you don't know. And we got a 95 masks. I bought a little oximeter to test my oxygen levels. We got hand sanitizer and throat lozenges, Vicks Vapor Rub. We just <laughs> bought out the store with the whole <coughs> with the whole COVID kit. We were close to amenities, we're close yes. to good friends if something were to go wrong. They had a truck that I, you know, I was able to borrow and zoom to, you know, yeah. uh, Fred Meyer and back, you know, so it was a best worst case scenario, which we often find ourselves in when things go wrong. Mm -hmm. There's you know a pretty bright spotlight on the solution yeah. not too far away. So it, there's always a helping hand reaching out to us. Yeah. And this was in the form of Austin and Ashley. So we are forever grateful to you. Absolutely. I have showered, which is super amazing. You can tell by the craziness of my hair. We are in Fairbanks. Overall, I'm feeling very hopeful that in just a few days, we're gonna be feeling good. Um, and I wanna make sure that we're not contagious um, when we leave to go to Prudhoe Bay. We found that there has been a little bit of leakage in this tent as well. The rain 
comes down through here and then makes a puddle <laughs> right where Tim sleeps. Poor Tim. It doesn't do that on my side. I know we're very far away. <laughs> we're like in the North Pole, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> but at least with technology, we can still be connected to the world and to our friends and to all of you guys out there. So thank you guys so much for the support and everything. It's always a comfort to know that there are people out there that are listening um, and to all the boring and mundane things that we have to say. So thank you so much. It is a new day of me being sick. <laughs> Tim just took a test, and he tested negative. Um, he's had, like, if anything, maybe a slight sore throat um, for a while, and today he has nothing. So it's very reassuring that he can uh, go around people safely without fearing that he's spreading anything, because he is not in any way contagious. It's just me. <laughs> so I'm gonna rest um, in our tent which has the new blue tarp on it which I like a lot because it blocks out um, some of the sun at night <laughs> which sounds really weird to say put yeah. a tarp on the tent because this one doesn't leak as bad as our Nemo but condensation is our our enemy so there was just a couple drips but in a combination of trying to block out the nearly 23 hours of sunlight here as well as some of the condensation, we bought a nice dark tarp that we put over it to uh, assist with uh, stopping both of those factors. So we just put it on, so we'll test it out. The skies look like it could rain at any minute. The forecast says the same. It's not the most fashionable. I, I don't know, I think it actually matches really nicely. Is that well. those shades of blue. So far it seems like the tarp is doing a great job. <laughs> I felt like I couldn't be around people anymore. Yeah. And it's just not a good feeling when you are like the plagued one. Well, and, and you know, I, I took a test and I was negative. Yeah, which you is crazy. Would think. But Goodness. I was still being uh, I'm always negative, you can always say that, you know. <laughs> I'm a pretty negative dude. But I'm usually positive. Yeah. <laughs> I was wearing my little my little neck thingamajigger to try not to spread you know, to catch anything, you'd make fun of me because my mouth looked like I was a muppet. <laughs> Marissa tested positive. I tested negative, uh, which is weird because we're sleeping in this tent next to each other. She's got the giggles, but I'm trying to protect myself. And apparently she thinks I look funny, which is just not what a wife should say to their husband. But it's not fair nor nice. That's me being responsible. So we kind of kept our distance from our good friends, which is Absolutely. sad. We traveled, you know, 3,000 miles to yeah. separate by six feet. Dinner time. Oh, if you guessed it. Cans of soup, but this time. Mmm. It's split pea. I love it. Tim thinks it looks like vomit. <laughs> But we got to, to map out what we would be doing because yes. I wanted Marissa to be quite healthy as we made it to Dead Horse. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I didn't want to be contagious anymore. Yeah. I wanted to be feeling 100% um, on the haul road to yeah. Dead Horse, which is the most northern point that you can go to in North America by road. Yeah. And it's not supposed to be the easiest road ever. So of course I wanted to be feeling good and I wanted to not be contagious. Yeah. So we waited out um, quite a few days there in Fairbanks just waiting for me to feel better. And I did start to feel Yay. better right away. Um, I don't know if it was the great hospitality or love. the little oximeter. Yeah. <laughs> Or Tim's love. She went to bed every night and was bleep and she's like, yeah, I'm still alive. Yeah, I'm like, I could have told oxygen. you that. But I did start to feel better right away. We had all the wonderful amenities that Fairbanks could offer with all the pharmacies and all the throat lozenges and all the Thai restaurants you could ever want. Yes. Wow. That was amazing. And mega burritos. And mega burritos. Oh, they have great things in Fairbanks. And of course, we got to see our good friends as well. And finally, I was like, all right, I think it's time. It 
It was going to take us four days to get up and down. We mm -hmm. planned on, and three of those four days looked like they should be all right. And so we... That's uh, as good as it was going to get. This is true. <laughs> so we made a date, and we crossed our fingers, and uh, we packed our goodness. And headed to the final destination. The of final the frontier. Dalton the final Highway frontier. Yes. To Dead Horse. Yeah. Prudhoe Bay. And that will all be in the next episode. <laughs> so stay tuned, and I hope you like this one. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Double bing. And we'll be seeing you next time. Peace, everybody. Bye. Stay safe.